everyone, welcome to the Saltwater Weekly Update at the new Fishy Business. So, you're going to see a lot of things have changed since the last time we talked. I promised that they would. There is a lot going on and a lot happening as far as things coming in. But one of the coolest things is the rock room. This is one of the newest rooms, the newest areas at Fishy Business. And it's one that we're really, really proud of because it gives you, the viewer, a chance when you come in here with an outline of basically a 250 gallon tank or so, a way to design your own reef tank or saltwater tank with the rocks and different things that we have before you ever put it in a tank. You can come back here and play, so to speak. This is the big sandbox or the big playroom at the new fishy business. So lots of different rocks, lots of different things, some aqua rocher. You can have the chance to do pretty much anything you wanna do as far as aquatic design with a mop tank setup. That's just one of the few new things happening here at fishy business. But we don't have time in this video to look at everything. You're gonna to have to come down and do that yourself. Let's go right now and take a look at the fish. Okay, so bear with me. There is a lot of saltwater fish and invertebrates that came in this week. So much so, this is the largest order we've done in the last six months. Uh, Reagan was up late last night putting stuff out. There's a lot of stuff going on. So we'll get into it right now. All right, starting out, you can see the Tiger Queen Antheus just came in. Another great little reef Antheus that we haven't had in stock in quite some time. I've got a nice little group of them, as you can see, poking out from every corner of the tank. Really cool that came in last night. If you move down a little bit lower, you'll also notice the powder brown tang that came in. While this can be a little bit of an ick prone fish, it is a beautiful fish in a saltwater environment. One of the first fish we sell out of every time we get it is the yellow Mimic Tang. Really all the Mimic Tangs. Uh, what's really beautiful about this fish is just the off mustard color that you can see. This is a fish that typically when it comes in is very relaxed. It goes into the reef or a community tank very easily. It is very readily adaptable and a very good communal fish. This is a fish we don't see very often. This is the Bahrain Tang. It is a beautiful large body tang that gets a lot of unique colors. If you wanna see what it looks like as an adult, you can uh, simply Google it. It is beautiful. It is a little stressed right now, uh, having only been in for a few hours, but a gorgeous fish that we seldom have. We got a lot of naso tangs this week, this being one of the larger ones. This is the blonde naso tang, so you'll notice right down the whole dorsal keel all the way down the back is the blonde where it gets its name. Naso tangs are typically a very hardy, large tang that will adapt with pretty much anything, being its own subspecies with as naso naso. It is a tang that will pretty much go with other tangs. It pretty much takes care of itself. This is a tang that can be typically used in an aggressive tank as well as a communal tank. Uh, great fish. I wish it would turn around, but it seems to be happy right now. I guess the second we walk away, it'll turn around and come out. One of my favorite tangs, the Desjardini Sailfin Tang. This is the Red Sea variant to the normal tang, or Sailfin Tang. It is a hardy species of fish that has a lot of cool markings. A little bit more ornate than the regular sailfin tang and just as hardy. This fish gets beautiful. It's very adaptable in almost any given situation. It's a show fish from a small size or from a small age rather and it only gets more so as it gets large. This is a great fish. Again, highly adaptable to almost any type of tank and situation. Uh, great fish to have. Okay, so what you're looking at now is the orange back fairy wrasse that came in. Most people love fairy wrasses because they all have such unique different colors. The pastels on this fish in a, in a, in a kind of a drowned pink with burnt orange on the back and blue on the, on the underbody just makes for a 
big, impressive show when this fish comes out. Uh, this is a reef fish. This is best kept in a type of reef tank or smaller fish uh, aquarium because it is very peaceful. Uh, you can mix it with almost any type of community fish, but it does not. it's not going to take any type of predators or anything like that. Uh, it's also a fish we sell out of pretty quick just because of the color pattern and the price point. If you have a reef tank and want a showy fish, this is a great one to have. Okay, so what you're looking at is a tank full of fish. Uh, the green chromis, as you can see, we've got a school of those as well as a nice school of pajama cardinals. To me, a school of pajama cardinals is one of the coolest things you can have if you've got a tank with a little bit of space. You'll also see the sailfin tang come into view. This is obviously the common sailfin tang. Uh, one of the hardiest, one of my top five fish you can have in a saltwater tank. Beautiful in every respect, hardy in every respect. Also rounding out the tank is the diamond goby. This is a great sand sifting goby. Moving right into the rock work, you can see the Midas blenny, which reminds me of almost every Dr. Seuss character you can imagine. Uh, it's a great fish with a lot of personality. It will kind of hop or skip from rock to rock, but a lot of personality and not a lot of expense. Okay, so what you're looking at here are the regular common firefish and some scissor tail gobies, both of which the firefish aren't really schooling, but they will make a little group in a larger reef tank, which is really, really cool. I have a few of them in service, but the scissor tails will actually school. Uh, these are a little thin right now. We'll get some weight on them in the next day or two, but in a school, they look phenomenal. I have two accounts where we have these uh, schooling. One is a 200 gallon tank, one is a 600 gallon tank, and they really put on an impressive show and are really the stars of both of those tanks. Coming out of the sand right now in the same tank are the Nasarius snails. These are really cool sand sifting snails that basically burrow in the sand, and move it around, kind of help oxygenate it. They're great to have in a tank for just keeping the sand churned up. Um, and they're great just to have as a normal cleaner, a cleanup crew. We got a little assortment of these Mexican redhead gobies. Really cool because they're very small, so they would easily go in a smaller tank. Um, electric red, it looks like somebody plugged them into a light socket that kind of glow from the top of their heads got two or three of these guys and they're really really cool in right now with the yellow watchman gobies young fox face finally came in this week we've only been getting like a large one here or there uh, but i've got the perfect size fox face the juvenile majestic angel or the navarcus angel came in this week gorgeous gorgeous fish uh, it's pretty rare that i get one with juvenile markings and this is one of those that actually goes into its adult stage at a little bit younger phase, so it probably won't be very long that it keeps the juvenile colors, but it is probably my favorite of the large angelfish. I can't say enough about it. I would not call it reef safe, but I have two or three in service in reef tanks. They tend to pick on the fewest corals. What corals they will pick on, I can never say, because in each tank they've chosen to pick on something different. Um, but it is one of the larger bodied angels that you can sometime get away with in a reef tank uh, as I'm doing it right now in three different ones, but Beautiful look up the adult colors. This is the majestic angel or the Navarcus And yet we got lucky again this week with another pintail wrasse It's one of the prettiest wrasses that we see in a while uh, or that we've seen in a while rather it has a lot of cool markings both in the stripes on its body and in the color. Great reef fish, very hardy. We have one, Hayden has one in our main 180 gallon reef we've had for months now. Uh, I can't say enough about it. Okay, there is no way for me to put into words how many fish I didn't show you. <laughs> there are fish in mass in every single tank we have in the store uh, for the saltwater department and a lot of very hardy fish and a lot of fish you don't see very much. So you definitely want to get down here and watch Facebook for that. Uh, we are doing the uh, gift certificate again this month. Uh, it's $300 gift certificate. We will purchase to your local mom and pop brick and mortar store, wherever you are, if you are the winner. Uh, we're gonna do it the same way. First question for the first saltwater uh, video for the month is what was the first fish that I showed you in the saltwater section? 
Uh, the answer to that is all you'll need. Go to fishybusinesssc.com, click on the uh, contest, and uh, we'll get started on this. Uh, our winner last month was in Charlotte. We got him a ticket to his local favorite store there, and we're happy to do it because we want to support people that are like us, and we want to support you guys who take time and watch the channel. So share it with your friends. Stay tuned. God bless. Have a great week, and I'll see you back here next week.